This time on Voss's Garage, we're going to discuss some of the things that we're seeing as trends in the automotive business. Now, what I'm talking about here is the fact that in many cases, you can't buy individual parts. You have to buy these large assemblies. Now, here we have an intake manifold that fits a 1.4 liter Chevrolet Cruze with a gas engine. And you see this little white piece here. Underneath that, there is a, uh, a one-way valve that just kind of disappears. And the fact of the matter is you cannot buy it. Now, when you have a modern automobile, many times there are going to be small parts that we used to replace. You know, this applies to alternators. We used to put brushes in alternators instead of selling an alternator. Well, the fact is you can no longer, for the most part, buy brushes for an alternator. You can't buy the internal pieces unless you buy them in quantity. Well, that would presume that you were a rebuilding facility and uh, you buy them a hundred at a time. Well, the average repair shop certainly can't buy a hundred of all these small parts for different cars and so on. So what's happening here is just like with this manifold for Chevy Cruze. Chevy Cruze 1.4 turbo. Well, here we have various parts that affect the emissions on the car and so on. In this particular case, we had a lean fuel mixture and that turned on the check engine light and set a lean fuel code and a bunch of things. Well, you know, this car had already been to a couple of shops and uh, they had put new oxygen sensors on it and so on because, you know, lean code, we got to have a bad oxygen sensor, right? wrong. You see, the reality was that because of the problems inside this intake manifold, this little valve and another problem that goes along with it in the valve cover, well, this was causing air to leak into the system, causing the lean fuel mixture. But when we talked to GM, they said, well, you got to check the technical service bulletin on it, which we did. And we found that there is no replacement here. You have to replace the entire intake manifold. All right, well, that didn't seem too bad, but then we found out that the replacement manifold, not only is it the plastic manifold, but it is the fuel rail, four new fuel injectors, a new throttle body and the whole thing built into one great big unit for 500 or thereabouts dollars. So the point here is that you're going to see more and more of this as time goes on. So don't be surprised when you take your car in for what, well, it would seem to be a minor problem and you walk out the door with a bill like this, which is $1,063 for something that, well, 10 or 15 years ago, it would have been $25 or $30 to get this little teeny check valve in here and replace it instead of replacing this entire assembly. So you have to do your homework because the problem is that you have no way of knowing when these things are repairable and when they have to re be replaced as assemblies. So get uh, comparable estimates and so on. You know, do a little uh, uh, comparing before you buy. And if you have a question or comment, drop me a line at radio at goss-garage.com.